Welcome to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is what is the most effective treatment for constipation according to science? What we know about chronic constipation is that it is a huge problem. It affects about 12% of the adults out there. It's very difficult to treat in each and every year. It accounts for over 2.5 million visits to medical centers. So in other words, having an effective treatment would actually be very cost effective and it would greatly improve patients' lives out there. So in this particular study, this is a systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized control studies. And what they wanted to see was what is the effect of fiber supplements on gut transit time, on stool output, on stool volume and frequency, on symptoms and quality of life among patients who have chronic constipation. Now, before we dive into all of the data, let's look at a particular type of fiber called psyllium. Now, psyllium is a form of fiber. It's made from the husk of psyllium seed, a.k.a. Plantago ovata. Now, the psyllium plant is native to Asia. It grows mostly in India, but it can be found worldwide. In fact, it grows in the wild in the southwest United States as well. And one thing to note about psyllium, or any fiber for that matter, fiber is a prebiotic. What does that mean? It is a substance that basically feeds Probiotics. So probiotics are bacteria, the healthy kind that we put in our bodies so that they can line our gut and do all sorts of wonderful things going on. But the food they eat is fiber or prebiotics. And that's why having a good source of prebiotic in our diet is incredibly healthy. And if you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, you're already getting an excellent source of prebiotics and all sorts of varieties going on. The other thing to note about psyllium is, aside from the fact that psyllium can help with bowel movements and can help with chronic constipation going on, psyllium also has the ability to soften your stool. Now, in order for it to do that, the thing you have to do is drink plenty of water. So as long as you're drinking plenty of water and taking in fibers such as psyllium, you're actually going to not only help constipation, but you're also going to soften the stool, which makes a big difference. Okay, so let's get into the results of the study. So remember, this was a randomized control study meta-analysis. They looked at 16 randomized control studies, and they had a total of 1,251 participants. So what did they find? Well, what they found was that, no surprise here, fiber increased stool frequency. They used something called a standardized mean difference. It was 0.72, and it improved stool consistency, which was a standardized mean difference of 0.32. So what the heck is standardized mean difference? Basically, when we look at meta-analysis and studies that are combining all sorts of data that might have different ways of measuring, we need to be able to bring all that data together. One way to do that is something known as a standardized mean difference. And the way you look at it is if the effect is really small, you're going to get a standardized mean difference or SMD of about 0 to 0.2. If the effect is moderate, it would be 0.2 to 0.8. And if it's a large effect, it would be greater than 0.8. So both for stool frequency and stool consistency, stool frequency was 0.72. So it's a moderate effect and stool consistency was 0.32. So it's a moderate effect as well going on. Okay. Now, then the researchers wanted to address some very specific questions. The first one was, how much fiber should you be taking? So what they found was that fiber doses of more than 10 grams a day, and specifically psyllium uh, supplements used in the type of fiber going on, were the most effective in terms of stool output, uh, reducing straining going on, and having an overall response going on. And then the next question was, how long? And for how long, what the researchers found was that basically, if you had people take the fiber supplements, in this case, psyllium, for more than a month, that resulted in the optimal timing for seeing the best return on investment, meaning the best improvements in terms of how fast, basically, the transit time or how fast stool is able to move through and stool frequency. So, more than a month. And then lastly, what was really interesting about psyllium was when you looked at what was the most effective type of treatment for constipation, well, psyllium led to an increase of three bowel movements per week. What's interesting is, is that the osmotic and stimulant laxatives that are on the market right now, they increase stool frequency by about 2.5 bowel movements per week. So here's something that's natural. 
it's whole food, plant-based, that actually will work better than the laxatives that we have available right now. All right. Looking at all of this data, what's the bottom line? What can you take home right now? It's very simple. Start adding fiber to your diet. You want to make sure you're increasing your fiber intake by 10 grams per day at a minimum going on. The simplest way is start eating a variety of fruits and vegetables going on. We'll have some really interesting data on some fruits like kiwi that can make a big difference and are very gentle on the digestive system. That's coming up in the next video. But what you want to know right now is, is increase fiber by 10 grams. Make sure that you're trying to increase plenty of water with it. And if you can, use psyllium as the source of fiber going on because psyllium has the best data. But anytime you increase fiber in the diet, do it slowly. Make sure you talk to your doctor or healthcare provider so that they're aware of these dietary changes you're making. Because if you increase fiber too fast, you can actually have the opposite effect and increase constipation. Okay, with that, if you have any comments, any questions, drop those in the comment section below. Otherwise, I would love to see uh, what topics you guys are interested in. I'll be sure to cover those next time. And as always, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you guys next time.